Look at this, just walking down stairs. I can't do the old normal, put my foot down and just step like everybody else, my feet come off. So at an early age, when I, when I first got si past size 15, now I'm 17, you learn to kind of like hit these stairs on an angle. See what I'm saying? That way you don't trip over your big clown feet <laughs> and rack down the stairs. What's up, muscle and strength? It's your boy, the seven foot, 330 pound wonder kid himself, the genetic giant, the blueprint, Matt Morgan, and every other name in the book, because I am that damn good, I am that damn jacked, and I'm a freak of freaking nature. If you're above six foot four, I'm telling you right now, you're too big for 90% of these machines. Gigantors, we gotta stick together. I got your back. Keep watching, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this done. First, I'm gonna show you simple dumbbell bicep curls. How could this affect the tall guy differently? Looking at an instruction manual on how to do the perfect alternate dumbbell standing curl, it tells us keep our, our arms at our sides, keep our elbows locked in, and come up, come up and twist and stay tight, right? Well, this is as much as I can go, okay? And all I'm feeling when I do these textbook style, okay, is the lower, portion, the lower portion from here my bicep down. I feel nothing from here to here, nothing whatsoever. For me, because of my long ass arms, for being tall, it's all here to here is all the pressure I feel. Nothing from here to here is being worked. So how do we combat that, folks? We do what they tell us not to do. We take our elbows out of the pocket and come upwards a little bit. I am able to hit my upper head as well and hit a full range of motion of working the complete bicep both the lower head and the higher lat pull downs this is more about can you fit on the thing or not here at apex this is one of the reasons i'm a member here because i could fit on this lat pull down but i promise you at least 50 percent of the gyms we go to tall guys you know what i'm talking about when you're doing your lat pull downs, and you come down, it's time to come back up. Boom, that's it. The rack is already at the bottom. You're, you're done. You can't go up. You can't go up any higher. You're stuck still here with your arms slightly bent. You cannot. Your arms are not supposed to be slightly bent when you're at the end of your repetition. My coach prefers my ass to come up off the bench a little bit. So when I come back down with that repetition, it's a really big full range of motion on my lats. I'm engaging all of my lats, not half, because I'm having to stop here, okay? <sighs> Triceps, when we're using the ropes for our, for our press downs, right? Again, what do they tell us? Lock our elbows in tight and come down and flex. Lock, elbows locked in tight, come down and flex. Here's a problem you're not taking into consideration. Gigantors. Look where this stops. Look where my arms are. Now, some of you are like, dude, I don't have that problem. I'm six foot five. Okay, yes, I'm seven feet tall. So maybe this might be just an only a seven foot problem. But it's a problem for me nonetheless. So. I'm at 90 degrees. I want to go all the way up. So how do I combat this, you ask? Great question. This is how. Now, my range of motion at the top is not cut off. But look at the difference. Look how I can come all the way up like that versus being stuck here. Look at this, just walking down stairs. I can't do the old normal, put my foot down and just step like everybody else, my feet come off. So at an early age, when I, when I first got si past size 15, now I'm 17. You learn to kind of like hit these stairs on an angle. See what I'm saying? That way you don't trip over your big clown feet <laughs> and rack down the stairs. The problem I find, our legs are too long. A lot of the times the pad is hitting here and here. That's still okay when you think about it as far as hitting your quads go. My problem ends up being I'm only hitting up to here a lot of the time. I, I'm not able to really get up here as much. And I gotta really rely on deeper squats, which kill my back. 
So how do I make up for that while still being able to do extensions? Feet all the way back. I try to take my butt and come forward a little bit, actually, and take my lower back off of the pad and rest my upper back on it. And by doing that, I'm creating a different angle. Again, playing with angles. And by me doing that now, I do feel it come up here versus cutting off from here to here only. Now this movement is coming all the way up here because my butt is that way more. Makes all the difference in the world. And this is one I've just figured out recently because of so much trauma to my back from wrestling and going through tables over the years, I don't have an L5. My disc is completely blown into pieces. So this is the first full year I'm able to do legs and do squats and things like that. So I just learned this angle. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Hopefully I was able to show you something. And at the end of the day, remember guys, it's all about angles, angles, angles. God did not create all of us equally to perform the same exercises. Nor did the gym and machine makers that make all this crap. This was designed for the average height man, not us freaks of nature. And I'm a proud freak of nature, and hopefully now you are too after this journey. Thanks again for Muscle Strength for having me on. Those of you that are offended by calling you Sideshow Midget Pissants, it is what it is. Don't be one.